How you doing guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's been about three weeks, I don't know, four weeks, something like that, since the um obviously we built the engine on the skyline and wanged them in the car. I've been daily in the car for the past few weeks. Mercedes has been neglected, just parked up, sat there getting pooed on. But um I've done now about 1200 miles in the thing. So obviously we've got the braking oil on it the in an hour in a minute, where you're supposed to do about I think a thousand miles. It's all different online, but a thousand miles, drop the braking oil, put another lot of braking oil, do another 500 miles, then drop the oil and then put so fully synthetic in. So that's what we're going to do. First things first, though, I need to stick this thing on charge with a battery because I went, I took it to work this morning because I thought I hadn't used them in a while and I need to do the oil on this. Went to start it and it took a while to start. So I've got a battery charger, so I'll wang it on trickle charge whilst I'm messing around with this. But yeah, we've got 1200 miles on the engine. We've got a leak, which I believe it's coming from the valve covers. I bought these washer things, like I said before, if you watched any of the videos, new ones. But you can see that like, you've screwed down and they just break. They're not very good. So I'm just going to tighten them and then so hopefully that stops the oil leak. I'm sure it's coming from the valve cover, which should be hopefully an easy fix. Um, and yeah, and drop the oil and put some new oil in. I realised as well, when I actually built this engine, I never actually said properly what I did to the engine and what parts we used. Going off the top of my head now, I'm not really, can't remember properly, but we got uh, Eagle, no, they're not, they're F1, F1 rods and Maul pistons. And we got an extended crank collar on the on the uh, crankshaft, which apparently is a must upgrade. An oil head drain on the back of the head, and valve stem seals. We got SuperTech valve stem seals, and all the heads been gone through, and you know, made to check it's all fine. We've gone eighty six point five mil cylinders, so only half a mil oversized pistons nothing major and what bearings we got what are they can't remember king race bearings i think they were and that's it i think hybrid turbo fake freddy intake plenum thousand cc injectors 400 world brew for um world brew fuel pump and that's pretty much it and a full exhaust system with a cat still on it which we need to remove but i'll do that before we go for a rolling road tune but yeah it's been driving really nice for the past three weeks i've been daily in it and uh i say yeah we just need to do the oil now it did have a little bit of a rattle yesterday which i need to jack up when i'm underneath there doing the oil i'd have a little shake of all the arms and stuff because obviously this car's been off the road for so many years and i've been driving it now daily and we did the long trip up to uh castle coombe racetrack what like 500 miles whatever that is so yeah, it's uh, it's wearing in now. So we need to check everything's like still tight, check the wheel nuts and stuff like that. You know, I've, I put all this car together, so it's a bit dodge. But yeah, let's get to it. some black. Oh yeah, it's got a 1.5 mil Cosworth head gasket. Going for the same oil as last time, running oil, millers. Right, that's the air. Plug back in, oil all drained into there. Got the old oil filter off, which is pain in the ass on this car. What I should have done when I put the engine in is put an oil filter relocation kit on, but you know, broke. Got a new K&M filter to go on. Wang him on now before I put the new oil in. Fill the oil filter up with oil before I put it on. A weird one. When I built the engine, obviously it was dry when I put it in. And I wanged in, basically I put the whole five litres in for the first build, the first oil in there. I've just put four litres in and it's right in the middle of the hash, so basically it's saying that it's full. Obviously I'll turn it over, let it run a minute, 
and then check it again once all the oil's filled, gone through and all that. But yeah, a dry engine takes five litres, a wet engine takes four. On, on Google's it says uh, 4.5, 4.7 I think. So we're in the ballpark. Before I'll start it as well, I'll tighten all of these down a bit more. I know these rubber washers are all squash, but I'll tighten it much, like a bit tighter. So hopefully any of the new oil we do put in doesn't leak down the side of the engine through the valve covers. But yeah, I've got to do that now. Right, that's it. I reckon we're good to go now. Just topped up the power steering fluid and the brake fluid because that was a bit low. So I'll tell you what, I'll drop it down before I uh, start it actually. Right, let's do it. works okay i've been tinkering i've not been recording it because it's been all boring stuff i've just been tidying up like all the fuel pump wiring obviously we put a four a world ball 400 in there and then all the wires are just all over the place so i just like cable cable tied them out of the way the old high cas plug and stuff cable tied that out of the way and just tidied it up a bit put some um, electrical tape around all the wires because there's a bunch of like loose live wires and stuff you know dodgy but yeah, that's done. Tidy. Again, I'm going to tidy up some more wiring. See, I've got all this. It's just a big old mess. I had to wire in a new sensor because I broke it off. I'll tape it all up with this. Just makes it look a bit cleaner and less cluttered. Much better. Nice and wrapped up. Just had a little test drive. Probably felt like a little bit. Obviously, we still ain't got a proper tune, so we can't floor it, floor it. But I had a little bit of fun. Um, I am going to take my tools out of the car <laughs> it's feeling confident <laughs> may 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 uh, backfire and i break down and i've got no tools on me but i reckon it'd be a reap <laughs> but yeah let's move along to something else on the car we need to do interior bits there's loads of little bits to do let's get cracking and the amg is pretty much charged another thing ticked off the list abandoned Right guys, this video has taken a turn for a different path. Um, I put this, this the AMG, A45 AMG, if you know, you've been following along, up for sale on Facebook, probably like, probably like a month or so ago. I had no interest, no, no one really messaged or anything, you know, just for swaps and stuff. And someone just messaged me basically saying they want it basically late tomorrow. So... I think they may be selling the A45 because I've not been using it since the Skyline's been back on the road and I know I won't so I think I'm going to buy something else don't know what yet maybe an Evo maybe a Honda who knows let me know what you want to see on the channel I'd like an Evo but they are expensive so yeah that's what's that's what's happening so I'm just going to clean this thing because it's minging and then uh i'll let you know what happens i suppose but yeah a bit sad but then i'm a bit excited as well because i want something new honestly i could do a bit more to this thing but i don't know it's an awesome car it's just uh just don't do it for me anymore this does <laughs> but yeah he's all clean maybe i should take the hennessy motors off the side of the window because well, if they don't buy it if they don't buy it they don't buy it i'll keep it for a bit obviously i can't use that in the winter i'm gonna be daily in this so i'm doing that now at the minute but it's the summer but i don't think i'll be able to daily that <laughs> in the winter so we're gonna have to get something similar to this but just not this i've had this for like all four years now so you know it's time to move on something new let me know what you're thinking though in the comments, whether I'm making a mistake you think or uh, it's a good idea what's well, happening anyway.
if he buys it, we'll see. He's all clean. Say goodbye to the Mercedes life. I've not overed it because I hate overing, so. But yeah, good old car. Fast, reliable, comfy. <laughs> but he's going. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section down below anyway. I think I'm gonna knock this vid on the head now because obviously I just spent half the time doing cleaning that up, getting it ready for presentation. Uh, obviously, we're gonna finish the skyline later on in the next video. But yeah, the finish, still install the radio and stuff like that, the rest of the interior. And yeah, and then go for a tune in it finally, a dyno tune where we can get some power. But yeah, let's stop the tune and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Take it easy.